Thank you. Okay, climate change. At the University of Wisconsin, we have some of the best scientists in the country. Their position mat matches that of 97% of climate scientists around the world, that global warming is tied directly to the burning of fossil fuels. What is your preferred approach to solving climate change, and how can we best transition to a clean energy economy? Roger. Thank you. Um, the best thing right now, technology is doing this for us. So if you, look at our, if you look at our vehicles that we're driving, they're becoming more efficient. If you look at, um, now I would probably never drive a Tesla, maybe some of you do, but um, I think it's probably, no, I'm not gonna say. Uh, but electric, electric vehicles and hybrid vehicles, that makes economic sense in many cases, depending on your driving habits and needs. And the more that people are buying these and driving them, the more that the companies are uh, working with them. I believe that Volkswagen is going to be, in fact, all of the major car companies, I believe by 2020, are going to have an all-electric vehicle option for people. That's how you do it. The free market works. People have their preferred habits and their, their preferred preferences. And I think that companies are waking up to what some of those are, and they're offering folks those choices. Um, I'll just throw this out there. As far as climate change is concerned, um, you know, I'm not a, 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 I'm not a believer, I do believe in climate change, let me just say that. I believe that our climate is changing. I think our climate has been changing for thousands of years. They say 10 to 15,000 years ago we were in an ice age, thank God the ice melted and we had the beautiful Wisconsin with all the lakes and rivers. We do have to be wise stewards of our environment, but I'm not going to squander the ability, you know, we have bigger problems I think right now in Wisconsin in taking care of making hey, sure that it's okay yeah. in taking care of investments in our in education investments in our infrastructure and i'm not really worried about 0.003 percent rise in global temperature 100 years from now lee what would you have to say to that i have a lot to say but i only have uh two minutes to do it um so one of the things that i would point out is that very recently the united nations intergovernmental committee on climate change just released a study that showed in our lifetime, in 2040, we're gonna see a 1.5 degrees Celsius increase in um, the, the average temperature. Um, if you guys think hurricanes right now are bad, just wait till 2040. So it is definitely something that we can't, uh, we can't ignore and we can't pretend that we are not contributors to this. Um, couple of things here. Um, yes, I think it's great to drive hybrid vehicles. I don't understand why we would make it more expensive to drive them in Wisconsin if climate change is a serious issue that we really want to do something about. Um, I think we need to invest in green energy. I think we have the ability to, um, if you look at the return on investment for wind and solar power, it is insane. So if we're talking about an economic model that makes sense, let's invest in green energy. Let's invest in green business as a way to build jobs and build the economy here in Wisconsin uh, to help reduce that footprint as well. Um, I think another thing we could do is not provide, um, um, not push for EPA rollbacks of um, businesses and factories in the southern part of Wisconsin. Um, we are seeing right now that um, Foxconn is going to be able to um, uh, put out more air, harmful air emissions than um, the Environmental Protection Agency um, thinks is right because of, because of a rollback there. So I think we need to make sure that we are taking stringent controls on air quality and what people are putting out there and keeping Wisconsin and the earth, the place we now love and enjoy. Thank you, Lee.